Spectacular, St. Thomas Aquinas College's Christmas Special Show. I'm Elliot Duini. Greg Cordon. Angela Marchese. And Timmy Harrison Chuck. So we've got a great show planned out for you today. Um, I will be interviewing Santa Claus, who, as we know, has been on the naughty list this year with his recent rehab stint. Uh, following that, I'm going to be doing some holiday snacks with Lauren and Liz, and then we're also going to get into some holiday gifts and stocking stuffers that Maybe you guys some, can use. Some tech stuff, huh, yes. Tim? Yeah. Yes. It's a big year for that. Bring exactly. back Tim's tech talk. Yes. Tim's tech talk. Yep. All right. All right, but first I want to ask everyone, how do you guys feel about Christmas season officially starting? I like it. I'm happy. Yeah. I don't know how much it started. You know, it's being in New York, you want the snow on the ground, and that's when you feel like it, it's really started. Well, I'm from upstate, and we got a bunch of snow recently, so I kind of felt it when I went home for you, Thanksgiving. You got enough, enough snow for three Christmases. <laughs> yeah, yes. pretty much. Exactly. Well, yeah. don't share any of that snow. I don't need six feet. I mean, they lit the tree last night. <laughs> How's the shopping going, guys? Yeah. Shopping's going good. I, I haven't started. started yeah. Paycheck goes Christmas in the mailbox, Eve. and out into the internet. Yeah, that's how it's Out into the Amazon. Definitely. Yep. I mean, um, Cyber Monday took a big hit on my wallet. I mean, I don't even want to look and check how much money I've lost. <laughs> how about the tree lighting last night? Did you guys watch that? Yes. I did. watched Mariah Carey, yes. and I think we'll have to talk about that. Uh, yeah, it was a, a quite a bad performance, if you, you ask me. But whatever. All right, but she let's move on to year. other train wrecks because yeah. we got that interview. Let's talk about right, that. Right, right. So uh, after the commercial break, I will be stay tuned because I will be chatting with Santa about uh, how he hopes to turn this Christmas season around uh, after some of his uh, setbacks. So stay tuned. <laughs> through this. Hi everyone and welcome back. I'm Ali Arduini here to sit down with the notorious Chris Kringle, otherwise known as Santa Claus. Uh, Mr. Claus has agreed to come in and chat with us today about some of the uh, plans he has for this upcoming Christmas holiday, as well as discuss some of the trouble he's gotten into in the past and uh, how he plans on fixing that for the future. Well, thank you for coming in today, Mr. Claus. Um, I know it's been a busy year for you. Uh, you had your rehab stint. Uh, you had an overwhelming amount of people on the naughty list. Um, and uh, also, a lot of people have been doubting your existence. Um, how have you been able to plan for Christmas despite all these setbacks? Well, not a lot of people understand that Christmas is actually a very easy holiday to prepare for. Interesting. Since my stint, I was out. I took like a little sabbatical for personal reasons, as right. you may know. But the elves have pretty much taken charge, and they're able to know the schedule and get all the things done. So things went pretty simply for the past couple months. Well, that's great. Um, so when you were in rehab, uh, what substances uh, were you abusing prior to that? Well, mainly just alcohol. Right. That's the main thing. Whatever you name it, I drank it. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about brandy, whiskey, tequila, Chardonnay, beer, pretty much everything on the alcohol list. Eggnog? Oh, yeah. Eggnog. Yeah, I can yeah. imagine. And what led you to actually seek help for this? Did you have like a rock bottom, or did you have a moment where you, you realized, I got to change, I got to do something about this? Well, when I first realized I started drinking, it was, uh, you know, the stress of the holidays is a real... It's a real pain, I can imagine, you know? I mean, yeah. Not a lot of people understand that. People want different things every year. It's really yes. complicated to get all across the world in one night. You know, I mean, a lot of people seems impossible. Right. You know, I mean, I, I've been on blocks that have like five apartment apartment buildings on and alone. You know? Right. I mean, that could take a whole night to just do. But uh, you know, when I realized I hit rock bottom, a lot of the L's they uh, they got together. And they staged an intervention? Yeah, they said it was alleged budget meeting, but I didn't believe that for oh, damn geez, thing. Oh, so, jeez, that must uh, have been tough. And it turned out to be an intervention. And, uh, you know, that was real low, even for them, you know, because they're elves and all. Right. I mean, you're a role model to millions of children all over the world. So how are you going to make up for this and rectify your mistakes and let the children view you in a better light? Well, the way I see things is that uh, all kids are good. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. they're, they're young. They don't know any better. So I, I put a uh, good majority of them on the uh, on the nice list. Right. Gave them all the gifts that they wanted to do. I read all the uh, the letters that came in for the past couple of months, and uh, I felt sorry for them. So I just gave them whatever they want. And have you been doing anything to kind of uh, change your image a little bit, or, or just to show the children that you're you've moved on and and you're fixing yourself? Well, my sponsor wants me to go to uh, AA twice a week. Okay, so, so you've been doing AA meetings, and how long have you been going to that? 
about three, four months now. Three so you, and a half months. Uh, have you been sober for three months? I have, yes. Well, congratulations. Thank That's you. a step in the right direction and definitely a positive outcome of this. Um, and how are you going to prevent something from this happening in the future? Oh, well, I'm just going to look to, uh, you know, stay focused on my job primarily. Mm -hmm. And uh, just uh, whenever I think about when I'm feeling down in the dumps, I just talk to somebody. But I'm going to stay away from booze from now on. Great. I think that's a, a fantastic solution. Well, thank you for coming in uh, today, Mr. Claus. It was a, a pleasure to speak to you and clear up some of these uh, allegations and rumors. And I, I feel like people are going to start to really see you for who you are and, and get past all of this nonsense. Well, so. Thank you. You're very welcome. So thank you again. Uh, stay tuned after this. Uh, we have Angela, Lauren, and Elizabeth here to show you uh, some of our favorite easy uh, holiday treats. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, and welcome back to our Stacktacular Christmas special. I'm here with Liz and Angela, and they brought us some delicious snacks to make this holiday season. Let's start with you, Angela. What do you okay. got for us today? So I have chocolate Chex trail mix, and I am absolutely excited about this. It's you say chocolate, that's all we need, right? Yeah, no, chocolate. Everyone Mom. loves chocolate. You can't love chocolate. So <laughs> this is awesome to make in your dorm room for the holidays, for any party you're going to. It's easy, it's cheap, and it's inexpensive. So we have some Chex Mix that you could buy. Here's the box, it's just chocolate Chex Mix. They also have vanilla, cinnamon, whatever preference you have, you can use. Now this is mixed though with This is regular, mixed right? with chocolate and regular. That okay. way it's a little combination of both. You get nice. the sweetness and then you get the blandness. So this is the M&M's with the coconut. Ooh, so M&M's? Yeah, right, they're perfect. And with the coconut, it's that chocolate sweet, so it's really good. Mm -hmm. And we actually use chocolate covered pretzels, but we use 100 calorie packs, that way we could save. Keep them a little healthier, right? Yeah, yeah, we could save some of the calories. Not cheating that much. I know, right? So then, this is what you do. You just mix them all together, and that's the final product. It's, it's perfect. That it's simple. so easy. It's so easy. And if you like it warm, you could throw it in the microwave for like 30 seconds or something. Ooh, it melts. And it melts. It gets nice, nice and gooey really and good. creamy, and it's great. And you know what? I even like it on top of ice cream. So. All right, nice. Delicious. So what, what is this you have over here, Liz? Okay, so I was walking through the grocery store, and I saw this box, right? Now, I'm not really a good baker, so I was like, oh my god, you don't have to bake this? This is fantastic. It's no bake, really? No, you pop it in the um, refrigerator for six hours. Wow. And, okay, so it comes with um, a container, and it comes with the Oreo mix, which is supposed to be the crust, and you're supposed to put it at the bottom, okay. and then you mix in um, the mixture with two cups of milk, and you spread it on there. Put it in the, in the refrigerator for six hours, and that's it. You that's it? That's dessert. crazy. Yeah. And then you wow. top it with the candy sprinkles. Oh, that's wow. the best. I know. You that's have amazing. to bake it. I know. Now, is it, it's just the Oreo crust at the bottom, right? And yeah. then this is all? Yep. And this is all like a jello. It's so delicious. this is easy even for everyone to do in their dorm rooms, too, if they're exactly. going to a party. Yeah. Or... Wow, that's awesome. That's and you can, really, you can put it in a cute little jar and give it to your friend. Well, I mean, come on, show us. Yeah, yeah and what like. is it? This is the finish, right? This is what it's supposed to look like. Oh, look how cute like. this wow, is. Wow, that looks yeah, great. I know, right? You can make the little layers. Oh, that's, that's adorable. So cute. That's good you to even it. give us like a gift. Like a little gift, yeah. You open it up and you top it with the little sprinkles. So cute. Wow, that's I love awesome. that. Right? That's great. No bake. No bake. No bake. That's all you need. And no bake. We're just keeping it quick and <laughs> quick and simple here, guys. So that's all the time we have for stack snacks today. I'm gonna send it back to you guys. Take a look at some great gift ideas for the holidays. Hi everyone and welcome to our special gift segment. I'm Angel Marchese, here with Tim, Greg and Allie. So let's begin by t talking about some of the top gifts this year. According to Forbes magazine, we have an array of things that everyone's going to want. So let's start off with you Allie, what do you got for us? Um, well, the number one selling item on, uh, or the number two selling item on the Forbes list is this um, Samsung tablet we have here. So it's, it's very, I mean, I've had this for a few months now and it's very easy to use. And I thought I was going to miss the iPad when I got it, but I really enjoyed this, I think, even better. So Is it user-friendly? An very user-friendly. Um, I don't know. It's easy to figure out. It's it's not complicated. It's fast. It, it's it's a, lot of a people great have issues product. with the Android coming from the Apple. Right, but I mean, I didn't find any issues. They're very they're similar enough. They're just as 
pick up and Right, pick exactly. It up. Definitely oh. user friendly. That's awesome. And of course, the number one seller that we have is the iPhone. So Tim, let's go back to your, your yes. Tim's tech talk and tell us what you got for us. Well, this here, as you know, obviously is the iPhone 6. It's a much larger phone. It has a faster camera and all that great stuff, which people love. It's the number one seller this year and it's been for, um, for a couple months now, but a lot of people want it for Christmas. They want to spend their own money. So why not ask for it, you know? Wow, that's awesome. Definitely have one of those on my wish list. Yes, so I want me the too. white one with the rose gold. Yes. That <laughs> yes. Typical girl. Yeah, typical girl. Exactly. All right, all right. So if you can't tell, I'm a little laid back, so more into the little things, you know? All right, so some of the things we have here. You can't exactly have these devices in this fast world and not expect to be huddled around the wall outlet, but everyone in the bustle and hustle, hustle bustle of the city is going to be in their car at some point. And that's why a car charger is highly recommended. They just have a USB end, and they transform the power to match whatever end you need. The Apple Android this year is for iPhones 5 So that'll, that'll just fit any USB cord? This should work with any, any USB port. Yep, exactly. That's awesome. I need yeah. that. I these are, need that. There's no reason not to have these. Yeah. Other small things you can throw on your keychain. Just useful LED flashlights. They make them 10 times brighter than this, and you wow. can get them for under $20. Wow, that's good and for the safety And the last thing, concerns. if you're going to be paying for your holiday gifts, the new issue, the new thing is the trifold wallets. They could go front or back pocket. I don't know how new they are. Well, you know, definitely you, you can get know. nice leather and then, but you know. But they're slim. That's the thing. They're right. slim. Exactly. And they're, they're practical. They're yeah, practical. Yeah, they're definitely practical. Definitely. So if you're poor like me, not everybody falls that's that's an full. option. Well, what do you got, like Angela? Some money in there, Greg. Okay, so my Wait. favorite thing this year that I'm giving to all of my baby cousins is, of course, it has to do with Frozen, Elsa and Anna, my girls, but it's a Snackies. So I'm sure everyone has heard about a Snackies, and if you haven't, I haven't. you haven't heard about a Snackies? No. No. Well, what it is, it's you could put your drink in it, any drink you want. Looks like you've already had a bit of a drink. I did have a little Testing bit of a drink. I was thirsty this morning, guys. And now this is as seen on TV. This is as seen on TV. So. Okay. And, you and then on snacks, top, you can put your snacks right on top. Wow. It's the easiest cool. thing in the world. It's a grab and go cup. That's all you need to do. And, and it's you can amazing. find these in any store? You can find these in CVS, Walmart, Harmon, Macy's. Anywhere has these. And, you know, Frozen's the new big thing right now. So this yeah, is what needs to be. And I, I like it. It's like a sh it's like the plastic is good. They even have them for guys. They have them in Spider Man, Superman, oh, Batman. Oh, so nice. yes, excellent. I guess I know what I'm going to find. All right, it's guys. Exactly. Well, these are some great gift ideas. Um, and we want to thank you guys for tuning in. And we hope that you use some of these suggestions and um, that's it for today's uh, Christmas Stacktacular. Again, once again, I'm Ali Arduini. I'm Greg Cordo. I'm Angela Marchese. And I'm Tamir Simchuk. And we wish you a very happy holiday and Merry Christmas. We'll see you in 2015. <laughs> yes.